G'day guys, out on my first ride since the crash. So what have I been up to? Eight, two months without the motorbike, so you tend to get up, pick up your other interests a little bit more, which is for me, gardening, landscaping, that kind of thing. I kind of enjoy, I like doing that. I was growing a lot of plants for my parents' place, a little farm up in the Hunter Valley. So I've been doing that on my balcony. And work was just, hectic last the end of last year so just getting out anytime I was working weekends and and then over Christmas I spent three weeks up, up at the Brooks farm landscaping Which, yeah, I didn't have the bike with me, so <laughs> the bike got just sat in the carport, covered in dust for the three weeks I was away. Anyway, it's kind of good to get out of there, but Jesus, it's a little bit... I haven't been feeling terribly confident on it. What's he showing us? What? I don't know. What is it? Oh, Goanna! Okay, yeah, couldn't see it from that side. Did you want to keep going in ahead, in front? So I'm riding with Mr. Bretto, YouTuber, and um, another guy. I won't say his name, he probably doesn't want to be known. Ugh. Oh, standing for so long is so annoying. Got to build up my legs. I should have worn my MX gear today. It's too fucking hot for this jacket. Let's go that way. No, that way. I haven't been that way. Come on, Bretto. Let's go. So, both these guys went on the Jill Sport Ramble. Is that second gear? Fuck the battle. Well, that was short. I think it's good having other people around while I'm getting back into it because they're happy to ride at a kind of slower pace anyway, it seems. So it's kind of good for me. It builds my confidence anyway. Funniest thing that happened to Brett this morning. I don't know if he filmed it. I suppose we'll find out. But he, um, BB is the other guy. He um, pulled away and then stopped suddenly because he hadn't seen another car coming. <laughs> Brent, Brent went for it and then realized BB had stopped. And kind of, I think he, I don't know if he hit his back tire. BB didn't seem to notice, but um, Brett's bike just kept going. It had that momentum to the left and he couldn't do anything about it and it went. Ah, oh, I feel so shit when that happens. Because it's happened to me so many fucking times, and oh, you can't, you got, can't do anything to stop it. It just goes. It's that way. So it's taken me a bit of a while to get back on the bike. I've been riding it to and from work every day, but getting onto a dirt road has been a bit slow. I didn't have a, um, a ride helmet to go up the freeway, so his visor just opens up. I don't know, it's an excuse, but... I finally got the camera replaced. Not the camera, the mount. The only mount got broken off my helmet in the crash. That's why it was laying there, looking at me, picking up my pain that I was going through. But it certainly didn't pick up the pain I went through later. Two weeks of, oh, back was so sore. So fucking stiff. Back protector again, but 
you wonder how much how much worse it could have been. Gap Creek, Monkey Face. Yep, we're going to all these places that I did in one of my first videos. There's your water crossing and your mud. <laughs> Starting to feel a little bit better. never good on the first night camping I don't know I think it's too much of a change from your standard sleeping arrangements <laughs> second night's always a bit better good bunch of blokes to go camping with like-minded riding not out to injure ourselves too much not going too fast it's good Better watch out for these birds what's going on oh fuck little kangaroo 
So we're heading back to Sydney. Uh, Brett's going back to Newcastle, but he's coming down a little bit towards Sydney first and then going back 